guys, we are finally changing up Minnie's tank. At the moment, as you can see, it's a bit of a mess. And if you don't know why it looks like this, it's because the background that was here, Minnie ended up being able to get up the back of it and I had to rip it out. In a way, I wasn't too fussed because I've been wanting to redo this tank for a while. But since it's been like this, even though it looks like a mess, I have actually noticed Minnie move around her tank far more. And I think the reason for that is there are just so many different places to hide. I've even found her as low as this. And I think the reason is she can dig this stuff out, get really flat, and hide. And I think that's what they would do in the wild. And that's kind of why I like using loose substrate. And this is Earth Mix Arid, if you're wondering. It is safe for leopard geckos. And it just allows them to do something they would naturally do in the wild. Now she's actually hiding under here. This is another thing I've noticed. She doesn't really like too much light. That's why I had to use a cork to cover it. But if you see, she is right back there. She is in between those rocks. So I'm going to try to mimic that when I alter this. But what we need to do now is move her out, move all these rocks out and get that background stuck in. Okay, so I've emptied the vivarium and yeah, I wish I could take off this background. Whatever tape I use to put it on is really, really good. But now I've tipped this vivarium on its side so I can just stick that background down. And when I do that, I probably won't be able to film it, but what I'm going to do is put rocks on it to really hold it in place. Okay, so I ended up doing something that's either really stupid or really smart. <laughs> um, basically, the sealant I was using had completely dried up, wasn't doing anything, and I've had problems with sticking this down with sealant before. So I actually, I have some expanding foam, I hadn't opened it, and I thought, okay, I'll stick it just around the edge and then stick this on. The expanding foam can hold rocks in places. So I put the background on. These rocks here are just to hold it in place, keep it down as the expanding foam expands but we'll come back in a bit and see how this is doing if you are wondering this is what i use this is what i always use it's for ponds and it is safe for animals like that so this is what i go and it's black which helps i don't really like it when the expanding frame is kind of white or yellow just because i just don't like the look if it comes through with the dirt but yes, this is the one I use. It's expensive, but it works. So, this is actually dried really quick. It's only a couple hours later and it's completely in place. The only thing is, obviously, expanding phone does expand, so it has come forward a little bit. It doesn't look perfect, but oh well. Um, one thing you may have noticed is it's upside down. So this is actually the rock that Minnie got under when it was down here, but actually I thought, let's just do it this way around. She doesn't tend to climb up it like Ziggy does. So it's more just for the look. But yeah, that was a lot easier than sealant. It's more expensive than sealant, but it did it very quickly. The only thing I've just realized is I can put my entire hand up here. So that is another place where feeder insects or mini may go. So it looks like I'm gonna have to put some expanding foam up here just to yeah, make sure she can't get in here again. So it's a day later and this is all in place. It's so now I need to put in the substrate if I'm happy with everything she can't get through that no that should all be good yeah okay let's put in the substrate okay so when I actually took this out I actually found the substrate to be quite dusty and technically with earth mix arid you are meant to regularly spray it down and it's totally fine um but for me it seems so unnatural to spray down a leopard gecko's tank and because I think of it adding humidity, but it's meant to be fine for this. And actually, I think I'm going to spray this down because I think it needs it. Just remember something. I haven't stuck down the thermometer. Fantastic. <laughs> so I'm now just playing around with a few of these rocks. These are left over from Diego's tank, and he uses his fake rocks as hides all the time. So if I'm going to use this one, which I think I would for the cold hide, then um, I'll have to drill like a hole in so she can get in there. This rock, however, I thought about maybe using some expanding foam to tilt that out and maybe using some of the fake plants that I got. Um, you may have seen in other videos, I'm just opening a box here, sorry about that. But just getting these to sort of hang down because we have some of these which will look really cool. So if you imagine some expanding foam holding them in place and them just hanging, maybe that'll work. <laughs> 
So it's the next day. This is all done really well. I've just kind of cut it down. It could have been better. It could have filled out you know, the whole thing, but mm, we're going to deal with what we've got. Um, and now I'm going to cut this up and try to fit it in somewhere so it looks somewhat natural. So I was just looking at some rocks and slate that I have left over, obviously there's some I took out of the tank, but um, to make a hide, I wanted the roof of the hide to be quite lightweight, easy to move rather than a really heavy rock, so I found this slate that I used to use on the bottom of the tanks, it actually originally used to be like a placement thing, anyway, I think I'm going to use this for the roof, I don't want it to be a perfect rectangle so I'm going to try to find a hammer and sort of break it up a bit. Right, <laughs> I found a hammer. Pretty sure this is a sledgehammer. I feel like Triple H when I pick it up. <laughs> and I think this is one I broke when I was a kid. I had to like break some rocks for my dad and the top like flew off. Anyway, this is probably way too heavy and way too powerful for a bit of slate, but this is the only thing I could find. So uh, yeah, let's go break some slate. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some slate. It's more irregular than the rectangle, which is what I wanted. The only thing with slate is it's quite thin and quite sharp. So make sure you file this down because if it can cut you, it can certainly cut your gecko. So I'm gonna take a file and sort out all these edges. So this may look super shallow, but knowing Minnie, I'm pretty sure this is what she needs. It's super nice and dark in there. There's another way you can get out over here. This will be the cold hide. And I got asked this about Ziggy's tank, where is the shedding hide? I have to say, since using this, I always spray it down when the gecko's about to shed. And you'll see Ziggy, she is literally about to shed. And since using Earth Mix Arid, I've barely run into any single problem with shedding. I think in Ziggy's tank, there's this cork area and it goes between two corks, a planter, on, on the bottom and I've planted it in a corner and I think she just rubs herself against that it just comes off so um I don't know if it's also to do with using actual rocks in some areas but I've just I have not had any problem with them so I'm not really sure what I'm doing in here I don't know if to put something in between here we shall see so here is the final piece apart from our water bowl obviously because Minnie has it at the moment so we have three air plants here succulents and this is going to be the cold hide which I think she's going to really like because it's nice and dark but equally it may double up as a shed and hide just because I think it will keep in a fair bit of humidity when it needs it this plant is actually from pets at home if you saw my video about buying things for my pets this is actually one of them that I got for free uh, if you get the VIP pet vouchers one of the months they actually gave one of these for free and it was £6.50 originally so I was pretty happy with that as I said, this is pretty low, but I think it suits my gecko perfectly. I think every gecko is different, and this will suit Minnie very well. I doubt she'll really go high up, but it gives, you know, adds to the overall look. Um, but yeah, so uh, let's go and get Minnie and move her in. Okay, so here we go. We have the water bowl in. The water bowl's actually quite big, um, and her calcium dish. And we have Minnie here. I've just woken her up because it is in the middle of the day. But here we go. She probably recognises her scent on all this stuff. She's actually been in a temporary tank. If you want to know how to set up a temporary tank, uh, there's a link for that. But yeah, so let's see her explore. video I certainly don't really have the eye for building tanks there are some people who are just so talented they just see it and they know how to build it I was certainly inspired by all the photos you guys sent to me if you haven't seen that video where I react to the setups give you some tips and also look at some really really good ones uh, I'll leave that link at the end of this video Minnie is still selling in. She seems very excited. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. But thank you and goodbye.